Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks search and rescue video on my channel. Today we are doing our build challenge entries, and as you guys can see, there is actually five of them on the screen at the moment. Now I did say that I was actually going to do five of the top rated ones, except since there wasn't actually that many creations entered, we're going to do pretty much all of them, but in separate videos, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to start with these five, except the second one is actually disqualified because I don't think the person that actually submitted it built the plane itself. So we are going to disqualify that one. So today there's only going to be four. Starting with this one that's just driven off, and then we'll go with the other four. Three. Yes. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this one for now, and uh, yeah, we'll continue. Okay, so there's something weird with this one at the beginning. Uh, it actually seems to just drive forwards. I, I don't know whether that's trying to drive itself out of a hangar or something like that, but it just drives off. So that's strange. <laughs> okay, so this one's called the B-32, and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump inside of it as soon as we possibly can, because it does seem to just drive off, which is weird. Um, but yeah, it, it drives itself away. I don't know why it does, but it does. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the automatic engine start and see if it actually works. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I did try and do this earlier, and none of the engines actually wanted to start, so that was a thing. But now, all of the engines do appear to be spinning, which is great. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and spill these up, get this thing into the sky, and see what kind of disaster thingamabobbies it actually has on it. So here we go. Ready? Throttle it to full. The engines are actually spinning now. Excellent. Good. Alright, can we actually take off now? That'd be great. That'd be excellent, actually. Go, 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 go. Is it going to take off? I think it is taking off. Alright, excellent. Nice. Okay, so our first plane is actually flying. Good. I really want to like lift up the landing gear, but I don't see a button to lift up the landing gear. Um, so that's a thing. It's just going to be like that. It's going to be left down. Uh, if we go backwards, we got this indoor lights thing. We've also got our fuel right there. If we close these, it closes both of them. Interesting. And then, I guess we actually have bombs on this thing. So open up the bomb bay. There it is. We got one huge bomb, it seems. It also seems to have a bomb site too. So this right here is the bomb site. Uh, let's try and hit something with it, I guess. I don't know what kind of speeds we need to be going, uh, but let's go a little bit slower and try and hit something with it. I don't know. Also, how do I drop the bomb? How do we actually drop the bomb? Release bomb. There it is. All right, it's gonna try and hit the uh, the railroad. Let's see if this works. If it does, uh, that'd be interesting. I don't know whether it will. Anyway, close the bomb, bomb bay. There we go. Follow the bomb down and see what it does. Hopefully it hits the right target. Okie dokie. So it didn't actually hit the right target. I feel like uh, I, I haven't used the bomb site right, but it hit the uh, mountain over there. As long as it hits the island, I think we've done a good job. Nice. Okay, so now we need to actually check out the rest of the plane. So let's go backwards and have a little look at it. We obviously have the doors to get in. We have the fuel tank above us, which is pretty strange. This is the bomb bay doors uh, underneath us. And this thing actually has a living quarters. I don't know why it does, but it does. So here we go. Living area has a nice little uh, wooden floor in here. A little seat uh, and two beds. One med bed and one actual bed. Nice. Okay, so the plane itself has actually disappeared because uh, reasons. I guess we flew too far away from the bomb. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Maybe that could be a disaster all on its own. It, the plane disappears. Interesting. Also, I really don't know why it just, like, drives off at the start. It's pretty strange. But, uh, honestly, it's it's fine. Uh, we have some bush buttons down here. I think that the uh, the disaster is actually the nose falls off. So that's kind of interesting. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Also, really don't know why it drives forwards when we spawn. That's pretty strange. All right, speed up these engines. Let's go. Speed them up and let's go. Speed them up and let's go. Is it going to work? Who knows? Come on. Come on, come on, lift up, there we go, right, excellent, so, uh, now that we're actually in the sky, we're going to go ahead and push this button, which is our nose, it hasn't seemingly done anything, we have machine guns, that's cool, um, the nose button hasn't done anything, so I'm not sure what's supposed to happen, but let's press this other button, nothing happens, press this button, nothing happens, press this button, Okay, something happened there. I think the nose is supposed to fall off when I do this. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> I don't know, because the nose hasn't fallen off. I don't know what to do. All right, it's going. It is going. The nose is, is, is falling off. There we go. Look at that. 
Yes. Okay, so not much of a disaster because honestly we can still fly this thing completely fine. But you know what? It's still cool that it comes off. Yeah. Nice. I do want to say though that the rest of the plane actually looks okay. I do actually kind of like it, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's quite nice. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the next ones and see what they're like. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty, so this is our next one right here. It's called the BV-686 Luxury Prop Destructible. Uh, that's exactly what it's called, which is interesting. A kind of a cool name. Uh, it was built by Bugactive... Bugactive Euron 686. There you go. So that's where the plane gets its name from. Pretty cool looking plane. I actually really like the way it looks so far. We got fuel in, fuel out right here. I don't know how we get into the plane. I don't know whether there's a door somewhere, is there? I, there doesn't seem to be a door. Oh, here we go. It's on the back. Oh, wow, and we actually have a little ramp in, too. Excellent. Okay, cool. So inside, we've got some lights. We've also got some LEDs. Awesome. We have an equipment locker as well, just in case we needed one. And at the back, we've got a toilet with a camera in it. That's weird. Why does it have a camera in the toilet? What else do we have here? we got a screen. Oh, pop-up screens for the, uh, for the passengers with cameras on. Cool. All right, inside the front we go. Let's get into the uh, the pilot seat. Yes, we need to start this thing up. So avionics, do we have a battery anywhere? Where's battery? Fuel, fuel, ignition, ignition. All right, cool. They're on instantly. Pretty cool. Uh, autopilot, new. Release the brake. Let's just go. Let's take off straight away, shall we? All right. Oh, tail strike, but that's okay. Into the sky we go. Awesome. And we are now flying. Great. Okay, cool. Uh, right, okay. So, we got a roll stabilizer. Let's turn that on. We have brake up, brake down. We have an autopilot. We have a pitch stability. Finger my bobby. Let's go ahead and turn that on as well. And there we go. We're flying. Excellent. We got a dome light. We got backlights. We got the flaps if we need them. Um, all pretty cool. Okay, so apparently some of these things are actually instant. Some of these things take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Uh, read. Always having pitch stab on is... Oh, recommended. Okay, right, cool. That's good. Uh, so what is this? Bomb threat. We've got a fuel leak. How do I toggle these? Oh, here we go. Toggle. Uh, we have emergency door release. I don't know which one we actually want first. Engine failures. Select engine with keypad. Oh, kind of cool. Okay, so let's say we have a fuel leak. Can we see it happening? Is there like a leakage that we can see? Yes, there is. Interesting. Where's our fuel on here? Can we see it anywhere? There it is. Our fuel is actually leaking out. Interesting. Bomb threat. Okay, that happened straight away. The whole back of our plane has actually exploded. And there is nothing I can do about it. There's actually literally nothing I can do about it. Let's get our welder. Run to the back of the plane. See if we can fix anything. Blush? What the? <laughs> Hang on a second, you can actually flush the toilet in this thing. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's interesting. But yeah, the bomb threat actually managed to take out our plane instantly and has now put our plane at the bottom of the ocean. Um, you know, that's kind of interesting. I do want to see what the engine threat is. So let's go ahead and fly again. Uh, and we'll see what the engine um, failure actually does. Okie dokie, so we're flying again. This thing actually flies quite nicely, to be totally honest with you guys. Uh, it looks really good too. I actually really, really like the way this thing looks. Uh, the engines look pretty awesome as well. Uh, it's actually a pretty sick plane. I like it a lot. Um, but we're going to go ahead and test a thing now. So I guess we've got engine one and engine two, presumably. So one is left, two is right. Let's go ahead and press one. Uh, enable the failures and go. All right, so does it set it on fire or does it just stop the engine? I'm not sure. It hasn't seemingly done anything yet, but that's fine. Let's just wait for it. Oh, there we go. It explodes the engine. No, that's actually pretty sick. I like that. That's cool. So now we have to rely on one engine to actually land this thing nicely. That's cool. That is actually cool. All right, let's try and put it down in the water at least a little bit so that we can at least try and put out the fire. And uh, hopefully all will go well. I don't think there's any islands that I can actually get to. So let's just put it down, shall we? All right, throttle down. There we go, and hopefully we'll just glide ourselves into the water. There we go, amazing, and now we need to escape. Go, 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 go! Wow, it actually caused a lot of damage, and I can't get out, I'm gonna die. That's sad. <laughs> I'm actually gonna die, guys. This is not right. This is not right. Flush the toilet before I die, quick. Flush. Yay! 
So yeah, you know what? This one's actually pretty sick. I think it looks pretty good. I like the colors. I like the actual decoration of it. It looks awesome. Uh, I like the fact that it's got fixed landing gear that looks like this. That's pretty awesome as well. Uh, the fact that you explode the engines is amazing. I really like that. And the bomb threat at the back is pretty cool too. And the fact that it also has a fuel leak. They've actually thought of quite a lot of things here. Obviously nothing falls off the plane, but there is a lot that actually goes wrong. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Okie dokie, so this is the next plane we have, it's called a C-119 rigged to blow. So uh, yeah, this thing is actually um, pretty cool, let's go ahead and jump inside, there we go, awesome. Uh, it's like a cargo plane slash not a cargo plane, which is um, pretty interesting. Um, yeah, you know what, pretty nice. Anyway, let's move forwards, try and get upstairs. Okay, you go around here, kind of interesting. Get inside the actual bridge, we have steering wheels. Uh, to fly it, we've got cooling. Okay, interesting. Um, we have an autopilot, we have navigation lights, and uh, interior lights, very good. We also have propeller collective back there. Um, yeah, how do I start the engines then? One and two. Okay, let's go. What? The... Why are they so loud? <laughs> Why are they so loud? It's like we've got modular engines, but they are extremely loud. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Landing gear is going to come up. They do actually fold up. Pretty interesting. Oh, and they've got doors. Nice. I think this thing actually looks pretty good, too, to be fair. Actually looks pretty nice. Okay, so now that we're actually flying, then, let's go ahead and see what we can actually do. So we got a gyro right there. Oh, we got brakes. I took off with the brake. Okay, it just exploded itself. <laughs> okay, so the engine itself just exploded. And now we're relying on one engine. Okay, I didn't even toggle that. It did it itself. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and try and land this one somewhere as well. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and try and put it into the water because we should. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. We're losing some power, but that's okay. Don't you worry. Let's go, go, go. Hopefully we can actually land this in the water. That'd be great. We have an altitude hold on this thing. We have an autopilot. Pretty awesome. Really awesome, actually. But yeah, we're going to land it in the water. So, here we go. Landed. Awesome. Go ahead and cut this off. Excellent. Uh, and to be totally honest with you guys, the door is actually saving us from dying. However, if we open this door, we will probably die. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Swim. Swim like you've never swam before. Okay, open said door. Alright, and get out of here. Let's go, go, go. That's sick. Yeah, you know what? The engine's just exploding is actually really cool. I like that. But yeah, every single one of these seems to actually sink to the bottom of the ocean. So that's literally just a thing that happens. Um, I feel like we should actually try and take off with this one again. So let's just do it. Oh, I see. Okay, so this thing is actually fully rigged to blow. So if you do actually take this thing above 500 meters above sea level, uh, it will just explode itself. So I think that's what we actually did. Uh, let's try it again, though, so that we actually definitely know. There we go, turn both of those on. Brakes, turn that off. Do this. And go! Okay, so this time it doesn't even want to take off. What the? Oh! Maybe! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Okay, right, we took off. Excellent. So now that we're flying, uh, that was dangerous, not gonna lie. We need an altitude. There we go. Let's ascend up to 500 and see if it just explodes then. All right, here we go. So we're at 350. Keep going up. I don't think we made it to 500 before. But here we go. Ready? Three, two. There we go. Yeah, directly on 500, it explodes. That's cool. That is actually really, really cool. Also, it looks amazing. It does actually look really, really nice. All right, I'm assuming there is a parachute in the back. I'm going to go ahead and try and find one. And I'm just going to jump out because... Honestly, I don't want to be inside this thing when it crashes again, so... Uh, do we have any parachutes? There's some parachutes up there. I'm gonna get some of these guys as well, just in case. I'm gonna open up the back doors, and I'm just gonna go for it. So what's this? There we go. I don't know why the cargo... Oh, okay, so that's how the cargo ramp works. You know what? That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm jumping. See you later. Yeet! Pop my parachute, and I'm out of there. Nice! You know what? That's actually pretty epic. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, anyway, let's move on to the next one. All right, so unfortunately, this one doesn't actually spawn within the actual uh, the actual spawn area. So we're going to have to jump on top of it and actually get inside uh, via spawning it in as a mission, which is fine. 
Uh, it's called the Horton HXXV111, uh, or III, I guess. Um, and it's called the Greyhawk. Kind of interesting. The interior, very minimal. Bombay doors, it has bombs. Cool, we got stabilization right here. And an altitude hold as well. Nice. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and uh, try and take up with this one then, shall we? Let's go ahead and throttle it up and let's go. Do, 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 do. Come on, please work. Please work. I don't know whether we need anything for this, like... Oh no, there we go, nice. We're gonna set this thing at like 500. There we go, and hopefully that'll work. This thing is fast. Oh my, this thing's fast. All right, landing gear's gonna fold up. That looks sick. That's a pretty cool way of doing the landing gear. I like it. Uh, and, oh, wow, okay, so the air inlets for the engines are right there. That's kind of cool. Anyway, altitude hold is going to go on. It's going to set at 500. Nice. And there we go. Awesome. And then, what's this? For accurate bombing, set altitude hold to 1,000. Okay, and then, okay, so this needs to go to 1,000. And then this needs to go down to 80, uh, which it already is. And then drop the bombs when the target is in the middle of the monitor. Okay, we're going to see if we can do this. Turn, turn, turn. Let's go, go, go. All right, I see an island right in front of us. Let's go ahead and fly towards that, shall we? Here we go. Excellent. Uh, how do we drop the bombs? Bombs is spacebar. Okay, open up the bomb bay doors. Island in the middle of the screen. Drop the bombs. All right, and then slow it all the way down because we want to see what happens. I don't actually see the bombs. Oh, I do, I do, I do. All right, okay, we're going to fly down there. We're going to have to take off again, but that's okay. And let's see if the bombs actually hit the island. Here they come. Here they come. They're a bit off. They're a little bit off, but you know what? That's still pretty accurate, to be fair. Nice. All right, guys, unfortunately, the plane has decided to uh, plummet towards the, uh, the, the ocean. So we're going to take off in it again, and uh, this time we're going to use the disasters. Yeah, let's do it. Okie dokie, so uh, this thing's actually really easy to take off. You just press 1, you throttle up, you put the stabilization on. Uh, you can put this to whatever you want. We're going to go with 500 again, and hopefully all will go well. That's 5,000. Delete a few zeros. There we go, 500. Good. Uh, cockpit lights, let's go ahead and turn those on. Pull up. Altitude hold and landing gear up. There we go, excellent. And that's that's really good. Nice. Okay, so if you're wondering how to actually use the uh, the... the the, bleh, the problems, the disasters. You get in the seat at the back, you can actually toggle this key button. Right wing snaps, bombs explode, left wing snaps, we got a fire, we've got front guns misfire, we've got turret misfires, we've also got electrical shortage, and we've got when pilot is sus. We've also got the ability to use this gun on the back, which is actually really, really cool. This gun on the back is actually sick. I like it. All right, well, anyway, uh, we need to not do that, and we need to do something with this. So, turret guns misfire. Currently, they haven't done anything. Fire. What in the world is going on here? Does it start a fire with a machine gun? Okay, we've got a fire on board. Left wing snaps. Oh, my lordy. The left wing doesn't just snap, though, does it? It blows up. It literally just exploded. Wow. All right, so uh, we're actually going to go ahead and turn on uh, disable player damage. There we go. Excellent. We're going to go to the rear again, if we can. There we go. Excellent as well. Uh, it would be good if there was a monitor here so that we could actually see what we're shooting at with the uh, cannon on the back, but that's okay. Uh, let's open this up. What else do we have? Front guns misfire. Okay, currently they haven't done anything, but that's fine. We have electrical shortage. Hasn't seemingly done anything either. Okay, that's fine as well. Turret misfire. When pilot is sus. What did that even do? I don't know what that did. Left wing snaps. Right wing snaps. Let's have a little look at this from the outside now that that's happened. And there they go. There they go, guys. The wings have snapped off. Interesting. All right. Now we're going down. We need to get into the uh, pilot seat, which... Oh, wait. The pilot's just gone. Wait. Did the pilot just eject? Is that what happened? Oh, that sucks. Oh, and we exploded when we hit the ground too. Wow. I like this though. You know, the fact that, whoa, why am I in here? And why is it just filling up? What the? That was weird. Uh, so I like the fact that we have the bomb. Actually, we haven't even done the bombs explode. Okay, that is a disaster right there. That is crazy. That actually turns off all the engines and blows up everything. The bomb bay doors also open themselves too. Kind of crazy. 
Uh, but yeah, we've got the fire. I love the fire, the way that it starts. Uh, the gun's misfire doesn't seem to work. The electrical shortage, I'm not sure what happened with that. The wing snaps are pretty aggressive and pretty cool. And then when the pilot is sus, it's just this, but an ejection seat, right? But we can't do it because we have exploded the whole thing. Alright, hold on. I want to use the ejection seat, I really do. So let's get inside and press 5. Ready? Whee! Oh, that's sick! That's actually really cool. Is there a parachute? And does it work? Yes, there is, and yes, it does. Amazing. Hot diggity dog. Uh, but yeah, I would say today that this one is actually the best looking one in terms of the exterior. Um, because look at it, it is actually really, really cool. Uh, and I actually really like it. But um, yeah, you know what? All of the planes today were actually really awesome. Um, the first one was a bit tricky to uh, actually work to begin with. Uh, because it drives itself around. I, I don't know any planes that do that. It's pretty strange. Um, but yeah. I don't know. If you guys want to use any of these things, uh, they're all uh, available in the description down below. I'll uh, leave a link to all of them, uh, and you guys can test them out. But anyway, for right now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, and just before I do actually finish, I do want to say thank you to the guys that have actually taken part in this. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Um, so yeah, thank you. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.